This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. And good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. Andrea is off tonight. For almost a year now, the discussion of allowing Class 2 e-bikes onto Sioux Falls trails and sidewalks has been up for debate. Hannah Eckwall in studio with an update tonight here at 10. Hello there, Hannah. Hi, Brian. Almost five years ago, the city implemented a class system for bicycles with three classes that it consisted of. At that time, class one was allowed on trails and sidewalks. Now city council is looking to add to the next level. This new addition adding fear to some citizens. So oh, there's grave concern among many people in this state about this issue, and I just think it's it, e-bikes have their place, but it's on the streets with the other motorcycles. This is John Clausen, an avid user of the Sioux Falls trail system, who now fears the safety of walkers, runners, and cyclists on class one bikes. According to a study done by the Sioux Falls Police Department, the average speed on trails and sidewalks is about 11 miles per hour. Class two e-bikes can reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour. However, they're not considered to be a motorcycle. If you look at the description of what a motorcycle is according to state law, the e-bike fits that description. But then in the next sentence, they create this kind of public policy decision or caveat where they say, but we're not talking about e-bikes. At tonight's city council, John took to the stand to challenge councilman Greg Neitzert, who supports this change. Neitzert saying that these class two bikes are already on the trails and he wants to add appropriate regulations. So the education, the enforcement, um, getting the signage out there and having those discussions with people about just being nice. Other council members had concerns of their own, but not about the safety of Sioux Falls residents, but whether or not a few years down the road, they'll revisit this discussion, but with class three bikes. These electric bikes can reach speeds up to 28 miles per hour. Neitzert said that is always a possibility, but he's currently just looking to take this small step first. However, the hot button topic now is learning the difference between these tiers of bikes on the trails. It's incredibly difficult to tease out what kind of an e-bike it is. You stand five feet away or 10 feet away from an e-bike, I challenge you to tell me whether it's a one, two, or a three. There's gonna be class threes. There's class threes on the trail right now, I guarantee you, and nobody can tell. It's, it's when they're speeding that, that it gets addressed. In tonight's voting, it was a unanimous eight to zero vote to approve class two bikes on these same pathways as class one bikes. The city looks to add specific signage with speed limits and an example of police enforcing those speeds will be similar to being pulled over in a car. Brian. Hannah Eckwalt.